Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce a new feature that's available in Tequa Structures version 2021. And this relates specifically to drawing layouts and drawing templates. So what I'm about to show will work in any drawing type. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show how this works in GA drawings. So you can see that my drawing view is quite full. I have some details. I have uh, a symbol here that's placed on the drawing. I have some notes down here and I'm starting to run out of room. And what can happen is that it may become necessary to slightly adjust the position of tables on a drawing to avoid overlapping with a drawing view or just making additional room on the drawing to more cleanly show things as needed. In previous versions, the only way to adjust the table positions, it would require you to create a new layout file. And then you have to manage multiple layout files that have all the same tables on them. They're just in slightly different positions. So what we've added in version 2021 is the ability to adjust the positions of tables, but still allow you to use the same common layout file, but make individual adjustments as needed on a drawing by drawing basis. So I'll show you an example of what I mean. So let's say that we needed to free up some additional room down here in the bottom right hand corner. What I can do is I can right click on a table and I can choose this exclude template from layout option. And now I can just click and position this table anywhere that I want it to go. And this will be saved drawing by drawing if I need to make adjustments. And the nice thing about it is, is that if I need to make changes to the overall drawing layout, those changes will carry forward to all drawings using this common layout file and it won't override these individual positions. If for some reason you want to restore this or move it back to the original location, you can simply right click on it and say restore template position. In this case, I do want to actually move it. So I'll just undo that change so we can see that they're moved and excluded from the layout. And I'll do the same for this one as well. So I'll just exclude this. And let's say that I want to position this in the top right hand corner. So I'll just click and drag. And now that's positioned there up out of the way. And so if I want to utilize this space down here, I can. If I need to add a section here, I could do that. Or if I want to move these notes out and make them a little more easier to read or located over here by the title block, I can easily do that. The nice thing about this as well is that Tecla keeps track of the excluded templates. So for example, if I were to go to open up the layout editor, it will load here. And then over here on the right hand side, you can see that these are the three tables that I have. And the ones here in the angle brackets, these two ones here, those are the ones that have been excluded. So I have a visual indicator of those that have been excluded and the one that's in its original location. And here I have the same option. If I want to restore the original layout, I can click this button and that would move everything back into place. So I'm just going to leave this for the time being. And now we're going to go to another drawing. So I'll go ahead and save these changes first. That will then save the table locations on this drawing. I'll open up another general arrangement drawing that's using the same table layout. So let me expand this and we'll take a look down here in the bottom right hand corner. So these are the three tables that I've been using. And let's say now that I actually need to add a table to this layout um, or if I need to delete something or make a modification, I'll show you how I can make that and then it will carry forward to all of the drawings using that common layout while still maintaining the individual table positions that I've made. So let's right click on this and go to open layout editor. This will then open up the editor. You can see here on the right hand side, I don't have any angle brackets. So these ones aren't excluded. And let's go up here and add a table. And I'll just scroll down and say that we want to add this table here. And so I'll just click to position this. And let me actually, I'll just make this fill in this box right there. All right. So now I've gone through and added in a new table to my layout. And now I want to save these and have these carried forward to all drawings that are using this same layout. So I'll go to close the layout editor. I have the option to save or discard. So I'll choose save. And now I want to overwrite this existing file, meaning that I want the changes that I've made to be carried forward to every drawing that has this layout. So I'll click save. That will then close the layout editor and then I can see that new table that I've added to my drawing. So now let's go to the previous drawing and see this change and how that works once we've excluded tables from the drawing. 
So here now that this drawing is open, I'll expand this. You can see that I have this table up here in the top right hand corner that I manually adjusted. I have my revision on top of the title block. And now you can see this new table that was carried forward as well. So this is a really nice feature. It allows you to use a common layout while adjusting the individual table locations on a drawing by drawing basis if needed, depending upon the scrubbing process and the requirements that are needed there. So as mentioned, this is available in Tackle Structures version 2021. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.